All right. Everybody can grab a sign on that. Hey, yes, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, my name is James Langley. I'm president of Northwest Florida Central Labor Council. Uh, we're, in, we're here today to hold our congressmen accountable for the decisions they're making in Washington right now that are negatively impacting the middle class and they're not even taking into consideration how it impacts them. They're just going roughshod and doing whatever they want and it's just it's really detrimental to advancing forward, bringing better jobs back to the middle class. My name is Lee Pryor. I'm field staff or mobilization coordinator with the Northwest Florida Federation of Labor, Central Labor Council. Well, what we're doing today is an accountability action and we're holding members of Congress and Senate at a federal level accountable for how they voted during the Cut, Cap, and Balance Act, whenever the debt ceiling crisis debate came up at a federal level. And, uh, you know, we've got representatives like Jeff Miller who have adamantly worked against his constituency. Congressman Miller needs to realize that, yeah, the, uh, the House is right. Social Security, Medicare, our entitlements, but we are entitled to them because we pay for them. It came out of our paychecks that we earned from our jobs. It didn't come from Washington, didn't come from Congressman Miller, didn't come from Rubio, didn't come from any of these guys. We paid for our Social Security and Medicare and it needs to be fixed so it stays there. There's nothing wrong with it, but they just allow too many loopholes to go through that would, you know, keep it sufficient for many, many, many generations to come. And also, you know, they're going to underfund Medicaid. I mean, in an area like Pensacola, you know, you look at, you know, a healthcare system like Baptist, that provides a lot of jobs. Baptist Hospital is a not-for-profit hospital. It's dependent on Medicaid. And, you know, that's a lot of job losses. If those jobs are cut, that's going to significantly impact a local economy such as Pensacola. I mean, and that's just from underfunding Medicaid. Not to say what it would do as far as mortality rate, so there's, you know, some significant damage that's going to happen with that. He's all for um, entitlement, what they call entitlement reform. Well, if you want to, re if you want to fix the re uh, entitlement, Congressman Miller, the first thing I suggest is you and your buddies in the House of Representatives get together and get rid of the $106,000 cap and tax all monies. Doesn't matter how much. If they would just get rid of that $106,000 cap, cut off for social security taxes, we wouldn't be talking about this. It would be fine. And second, they need to go ahead and pass an amend a constitutional amendment that says Congress and Washington can no longer dip their hands into the social security fund and balance any budget, period. why they want to give tax breaks to corporations is because they say that they can create jobs. Well, we look at the Bush tax breaks, those got extended, and then we come up to, you know, this time now, there's not a lot of jobs being created. Even if you look at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and you look, they create, you know, about 100K jobs a quarter, that you break that down state by state, county by county, city by city, that's a very small marginal number. Big business is sitting on $2 trillion in profits this year. We've got 14 million people out of work. If they would take 25% of them profits, they could put 50% of those people, at least 50% of those people back to work. Reinvest in the United States. That's where the money should be because that's where they got rich at. That's why we're out here today, to let people like Jeff Miller know, everybody in Congress and in the U.S. Senate know that you know we're fed up with this. We're going to be out here. We're going to mobilize. We're going to build up a movement one way or another, whether it is through lobbying a voter's block or a movement independent of them just to get them out because they don't need to be in there. They're not representing the interest of their constituency, and they're fueling this fascism that we're now going into.